Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, The Archments of Things. In this video, I am going to tell you about null functions and what is meant by stored procedures. This video is most useful video and most important topics we are discussing in this video. So watch this video till end so that you will never miss any uh, topic or concept store process which i am discussing in this video is most important in this our entire sql tutorials which we use mostly is this store procedures so let's see what these things in this video before going to start this video one main thing if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click the bell icon uh, we are going to planning these type of tutorials many more tutorials uh, in the coming uh, days so subscribe to my channel stay tuned so you will never any, up, miss any update of our videos so let's start uh, what is meant by this sql null state null functions uh, we have many functions like uh, in the normal any programming language like we have minimum function and max as we have seen aggregate functions in the previous tutorials of this sql which have min max and count and we have sum and average which are nothing but aggregate functions we have but what is this null functions this null functions is nothing but is null if null uh, this type of things comes under this null functions we can say here i am using database of products table which we is uh, in this browser we can say w3 schools having this uh, tables like a, a product id and product name and unit price and units in stock and units on order this type of products table is there in this website we can say in this browser so, so okay suppose if you want that uh, units on order column as optional and maybe have contain null values so this is will be optional so what we have done here you can see there is no value for the particular second record so it is an optional column so it may contain null values or maybe a valued one so it may have null values so at the time of that you, if you want to know whether that value is maybe null or not so how to check those by using oh, you can check those by using this functions called null function is null function is there to check if the value is null or not as we seen in the previous we have discussed about null functions you can and watch those videos to get more clarity on what is nothing but that uh, is null or not is not null as this discussed in the previous chapters so look at this example which is select statement where we have select product name i am selecting and also what i am selecting means unit price unit price is the one column i am multiplying that thing with the units in cost and plus uh, I'm adding these two things and multiplying with these things. So entire uh, the value which comes under, they will be printed as one column, okay? Uh, from products table, for this example, we will get. In this example, if any orders on the uh, orders on order value are null, the result will be null, yes or no? Yeah, here you can see, uh, here, the orders on order is null. So how can add this null value to units in stock to the number? So if it, the particular thing is null, the result will also be null. So how to overcome this solution or this problem? We can say here is a solution called if null is the one function in MySQL. We, MySQL support this kind of functions. If this function, what does means? It let us to return an alternate value if an expression is null. If any expression is null, it will return a normal alternate value you at that place so that we will not get an uh, result as null when we are doing any operations or expressions we are performing on it so here is the uh, example you can see select product name the same thing which I have written what i am writing uh, for a particular value which is an optional column maybe have null we are aware that that will be the optional column it may have null values so at that time what we do we have to do means we have to write like this if null once if the value is null on that particular on order then give a uh, dummy or alternate value zero at that place so likewise we can assign we can assign any value instead of that if it is null if it is having null so if null you have to assign the value zero at that place then zero plus units in stock into units price we are uh, we are solving the problem that if the one of the column will be null then the result is coming as a null here uh, if we don't use this if null so better to use this if null condition if you know that the particular column is an optional which may contains null values then you have to first check whether the value is null or not if it is null you have to give a alternate value at that place to perform any expression or calculation okay in my sql we use this if if null thing we can also use this a colossi 
equal ac function we like this like you can see same thing is uh, here in the place of if null we have this equal ac oh which is a function which will return an alternate value if the value is null and next this is for uh, mysql right in sql doesn't support uh, these things uh, in sql is the something is different like in in is null function returns you a alternate value when the expression is null uh, sql also support this uh, particular thing uh, and um, ms access which is also uh, supporting this is null but here the value of returning this thing is a uh, true minus 1 if the expression has null value otherwise false it will return a zero value so the difference some basic some small small difference will be there when the database system may changes it is from system to system the operations or functions may be different right uh, uh, their uh, definition will be different like here you can see the example like select product name and what are they performing unit price into cost in stock plus what i am doing i if if e is null this particular all order details is null comma alternate value and next units on order likewise you have to write mostly no one use this ms access so no need to more stress on this just understand how it will how it will be look like if you go through just a basic clarity about this thing so rackel we have this uh, nlv which is a null valued uh, thing a uh, function it uses the same result same as this uh, if null we have this nbl in the place of oracle data system so main thing is is null is null is the main thing to check if null is the one thing so go through those examples and then uh, perform your own functions on this so that you will get clarity on this so the main concept which i am going to discuss in this video is this stored procedure which is the most important one so everyone listen carefully while i am telling these things for sql server here i am not discussing for different uh, different uh, database systems or anything i am going with this sql server the only one system which we are discussing in now uh, the stored procedure related to sql server okay what is meant by stored processor we are uh, listening uh, stored processor stored processor why we are going with uh, sql you have to write a stored processor for that like uh, many one told us they uh, we listen the stored processes so many times when we go for this sql things like a stored processor is a prepared sql code like we have written a code of sql which are related to the sql commands that can save we can save so that the code can be reused over and over again we have to write a particular query to uh, get a results right so instead of writing query so many times we can uh, write a query and just save it and they can you can again retrieve that and again you can use that if any need is there for that particular query right so that can be stored and retrieved again and again by using this stored processes like we have to write that select commands or sql commands or sql queries in a stored process so that you can retrieve and save that and can reuse again and again so that if you have sql query that you can write over and over again save it as a stored processor then you can just call it to execute it if you again if you don't want to execute the particular thing want to repeat it 100 times or just how many times you have to write that query so instead of writing so many times you can just save it as a stored processor so can you if you want to get that particular query you just call the stored processor then it can be executed just like as a functions how in the other programming languages we have functions if you want to perform a particular task for so many times we have written that particular code into a function and we can call that function so many number of times so that we will go into print uh, we will go into execute that set of statements for so many times like how we do in a function similar to that we have a stored processor in s we can also pass parameters to the stored process like how we do for the functions like here also for the stored process we can pass parameters okay so that the stored process can act based upon the parameter value that is passed so how the para which parameters you have passed it based upon that they will perform the particular actions which they have to perform on that based upon the statements which have written in the stored process so what is the syntax for this stored process is first we have to create the stored process right uh, to use that so we have to create first procedure we have to uh, give that name of the procedure right so create procedure is the syntax for that create procedure is the keywords which we have to use create procedure and procedure name which is a user defined thing you have to give that and as uh, for what as we have to give the statements 
we are creating for the store processor for what as this particular instead of this particular statements we are creating the store processor if you call this store processor this particular statements will be printed so as uh, and then you have to write the sql statements here then go go is the last thing and next semi column to end that particular store processor like this is a basic syntax you have to follow the create processor processor name as sql statements which you want to print that you have to write in the store processor and last finally go fourth way you have to call for function what you have to call you have to write a function name then you, it will be called to a function then store processor how you have to execute the store processor means to call that store processor we have to use this exe which is execute store processor exe you have to write the store processor name to call that store processor this is a normal syntax which uh, you have to remember the main most important in this sql things is this store processor so uh, remember this syntax much most important thing i'm not getting it this getting correct so this is the main thing you have to remember that how to call these things and uh, how to do exe processor name by this you can have to execute that thing and you have to create by this create and procedure processor name as sql statements and go so let's try one example to get clarity on this this things we are using a customer tables in this database which is present in this browser which is having customer id customer name contact name address city postal code and country we are having and next here um, yeah store processor i'm creating here uh, which is named of select all customers i am creating with the name select all customers that selects all the records from the customer table i want to select all the records from the customer table we can just write select star from customers okay what if you want to create this particular uh, select statement of using a stored processor first you have to create procedure create process syntax this is the you have to write every time create procedure for creating procedure create procedure and name of that process select all customers as for what we are creating for this particular uh, SQL statements we are creating store, store process so i have to write those statements here and next go semicolon what if you want to call that particular thing you have to execute that thing exe select all customers with the name of the store processor you can call likewise you can execute the store processor as follows okay store processor with one parameter what if you want to pass any one parameter for the store processor let's see this example store processor the select customers from a particular city the uh, from what city you have to uh, you have to select from customers that city we have to send to the parameter as a store processor parameter of the store processor we can send also okay here is the example like create processor name of the uh, uh, processor name and next at the rate at the rate is nothing but a parameter okay parameter uh, which is a, a normal uh, value uh, column name or the, like that parameter at the rate parameter and you have to mention the type of that parameter also not only the parameter but you have to mention the type also while you are passing as a parameter like parameter and its type as uh, next what are the list of uh, sql statements which you have to give you have to give where in that list of statements the passed parameter has to be used right select star from customer where what on what condition we are selecting the customers of the city which are uh, the city which are we are sending a parameter for the store processor based upon that city we have to select the particular customers so likewise the things will happen to execute this particular statement what you have to do so we have to execute that that uh, processor uh, store processor by using this exe store processor name which is select all customers and parameter also you have to pass right keep in the mind if the store processor having any parameter then you should pass that parameter to execute the statement properly okay at the red city and i am passing the city name as lander so that will goes to here which is of uh, n varchar type which is of 30 in size and that will come to in this store processor and which city is equal to address city london will replace here so based upon uh, the city name london the customers will be retrieved by using this store processor okay not only the single parameter you can also use this multiple parameters in the store processor like setting up multiple parameters is very easy just list uh, each parameter and data type separated by a comma as shown in the above so as we done city and varchar 30 in the previous example just separate by a comma and you can give the uh, each parameter and its data type so that it will be easy to uh, mention a multiple parameters in a stored processor okay list each parameter and, and its data type separated by a comma by using this comma separated things you can uh, place any multiple number of parameters for a stored processor okay i'm sending country and the postal code also in this select all customers based upon this city and postal code i am selecting the customer select star from customers where city name is the, the city which we have passed it and also the postal code which we have passed it I am retrieving that information. To execute this particular what I have to retain? Anyone guess? 
yeah correct you have to send two parameters for this so exe exe you select all customers and at the red city it is to be london and comma here also comma separated you can pass the parameters like comma is equal uh, parameter is equal to value comma parameter is equal to value and semicolon to end that particular statement okay uh, we are sitting uh, we want to retrieve the city from london and from postal code of wa1 and 1dp uh, based upon that postal code and city it will retrieve the information okay you can execute these codes by your own uh, by taking an sql or online editor you can do all these things or uh, uh, do we uh, create a one database on your own and you can create how to create a database will be here this sql uh, database uh, uh, concepts are there in after these sql things you can go through this and uh, create a database which is very simple to create by using a create uh, keyword in that uh, sql server so like this we things will happen for store procedure this is the most important for uh, uh, any uh, website developing or uh, to manage data we use mostly sql uh, store processes in any advanced projects like that which is very important thing in sql to keep it in the mind and we work a lot by using this store processes in sql management like database management and everything which uh, reduces our work and uh, no need to write a queries again and again it will be used for uh, if you want to run particular query if you want to retrieve that particular table data so many number of times in your application then you just refer to the, the store processor which are doing your operation that just by uh, getting that store processor and by calling the store processor you are going to execute that uh, last number of queries you can't write a large number of uh, queries or data in your part in your web api or any uh, a uh, website developing or any codes you can't write uh, that query so many number of them that will make a code lengthy like that so once you create a stored processor you can just call the stored processor if you want to retrieve that particular set of sql commands or data or any uh, data from the records or data from the table or uh, database like where things will happen by using the stored processor which is most important so concentrate on these things and go through this uh, stored processor column in this uh, website get clarity on this and do practice on this store processor create your own store processor to perform any operation or simple things to select a simple query like select star from customers create your own customers table like um, practice is more important in this type of things uh, to remove that complex uh, complexity in uh, understanding while these things so that's all for today thanks for watching if you have any doubts regarding to the store processor and any other things which have discussed in this tutorial feel free to comment in the comment section so we will definitely reply and try to solve your uh, any doubts or clarifications not only those doubts or clarifications you can also suggest or any suggestions from your side for your uh, uh, to this tutorials or any co other concepts if, if you want so that's all for today thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon below to get notified each time when we upload a new video so Bye-bye.